Unity has released a strand-based hair solution which can be used to create high-fidelity real-time hair physics. The hair system is applicable not only to realistic digital humans but also to more stylized content and games. It allows users to easily create hair assets either from the groom from external DCC tools or through simple built-in procedural generation tools. This feature is still experimental but you can download it and try to use it. So in today's video we will show you how to install this hair system and how to use it in addition to creating a shader graph that allows you to change the color and the smoothness of the hair. This hair system is supposed to work on all render pipelines, the built-in, the URP and the HDRP. But I tried it on the built-in, it worked perfectly, it didn't work for me on the URP and got some problems and it worked perfectly also on HDRP. So let's start with a built-in project or URP. Uh, till the project open, we can go to the web page for the GitHub of this demo hair system and as you can see it says it needs at least unity 2020.2 and it mentions that it works on all render pipelines so to install the hair system you simply need to go to that web page i provided the link down in the description then you copy the link of the git hub so you can paste it in the Unity Package Manager. But before doing so, you need to install Git on your PC. So make sure you install that, restarted Unity and Unity Hub, then uh, create a new project and go to the Package Manager, then paste the link to download the hair system. And of course, after installing it, you need to import the sample scenes that's attached to this system. So I tried the built-in demo scene, it worked perfectly. Then I wanted to try it in URP, but it didn't work for me for some reason and I got some error which prevented the hair from rendering in the scene. But I tried it also in the HDRP and it worked again perfectly. So I decided to proceed with an HDRP scene to show you how to create a shader graph to control the color and the smoothness of the hair in addition to show you some basics of this hair system. So let's create a new shader graph, right click, create shader graph, then HDRP lit shader graph. Then we simply add the the hair vertex subshader graph which is built in with this system and we'll link the position, the normal and the tangent to the vertex section and we'll link the strand normal to the normal in the fragment section. Now we can create any properties we want. So of course we can for now create a color property to control the color of our hair and we link that to the base color then we can create a flow to control the smoothness of our fragment or our hair. We can set that to be a slider between 0 and 1. Then save, go back to the scene. Now create a material to hold our shader graph. So let's create a new material, name it hair material and drag the shader to it. Then we go to the hair prefab and to be able to adjust it, we need to unlock the prefab. Now in the settings system section, you can expand the settings strands and enable the material and then drag the material that we created there. And as you can see, now we have the color and the smoothness properties, which can be adjusted easily from the inspector. So you can play around to change the hair color in addition to change the smoothness which change how reflective is the surface of our hair. 
So you can also change the strand diameter and the strand margin to increase or decrease the space between the hair strands. This will allow you to reach uh, satisfying results related to creation of your hair or fur. Of course, the main thing here is the hair asset, which you can open and change some parameters, like for example, the placement primitive. Is it a bush you're trying to create? or a cap, or a curtain. So those choices will help you reach what you're aiming to create. So this is just an introduction to the hair system. And if you like this technology, I can dedicate more time to create uh, a full tutorials of all properties related to the hair system. So I kept playing with the parameters. Then I wanted to test this with some animation. So I went to Mixamo website and downloaded some nice and cute characters with some cool dance animations. Then I linked two hair assets that I created, one to the spine bone of this cute girl and the other one to the head bone for the other uh, mouse character. So the left one to be as skirt, the right one to be as the hair of the character. And this is the results I got. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed what you watched, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the notification bell so you keep updated with new videos. Of course, our dear patrons who keep supporting us generously can download all our projects which are available on Patreon. Till next video, see you soon.